But you guys got another fix it video here for you on fix vmware workstation and device credential guard are not compatible and this is a problem uh, with the program i'm going to show you how to fix this uh, in windows 10 so we've got our vmware workstation player open here when i try to play uh, my uh, windows 10 and get it booted up you can see here i'll get this error message popping up and this is just suddenly popped up and this is the credential guard and I'll show you how to resolve this problem now again this can be quite frustrating if you don't know how to fix it so I thought we'd make a quick video to share to resolve this uh, problem here so let's get started so first off let's go down to the search box and type in here GP edit this will open up the group policy editor you will need to be on Windows 10 Pro or above I will show you a Windows 10 home version as well after this so once you're in this location, go to local computer policy, computer configuration, then move on down to administrative templates. Then what we want to do is go down to where it says system, open this one up here. And then when we open this one up, we can go to device guard on the right hand side. Now you should see device guard here, click on this one and this will open up the, the device guard. And what we want to do here is turn on virtualization based security double click on this one and uh, once we open this another window will open now you'll see it's not configured but we're going to be disabling this and uh, click on disable click OK here now once we've done that we can uh, close off the group policy editor now you will need a reboot or you can just quickly go down to the search box and open up command prompt so do CMD run this administrator and open up the command prompt box now what you want to type in here is GP update space forward slash false and this will force uh, changes that you've created inside your group policy there you go just updating the policies but we will need to restart anyway but I just wanted to show you that one just in case you wanted to learn how to do it so next up we're going to go down to the search box and type in here reg edit this is for you home users so if you've got windows 10 home and you want to be able to fix this then you can do go to hkey local machine then we want to go down to system then current control set just drop on there then drop the arrow down and then go to control and you should see device guard now device guard once you're on device guard you will need to create a key so over the right hand side you want to go over to the right and type in here a key and I'll show you how to do that so just right click and then go new D word uh, value and it's a 32-bit value make this uh, value uh, enable virtualization base security and then you want to set that value to zero now by default it will be set to zero so you can just leave it alone but you can double click on it and just check it if you want to I'll show you how to do that in a second but let's go to our second location in the same area we need to go to uh, LSA so it's just down a little bit further just go to LSA here and on the right hand pane we need to create another D word value here so right click and create another D word value 32 bit that is and then we need to call it LSA CFG flags all one word just as I've done it here double click on it and set the value to zero and it will be the same for the other one as well so let me just go back and show you the device guard just make sure that's set to zero and you should be okay and once they're done we can move on to the next step so next we just want to make sure the Hyper-V is turned off so go to the search box here and type in here turn windows features on or off but you can just normally do turn turn windows and as soon as you do that you should see it pop up up the top so click on this and go inside here and just check to make sure Hyper-V is not ticked if it's ticked then you need to untick it and click OK and it will un do that okay because we don't want that on because it's going to conflict and you're going to get a problem now once you've done this you can go back down to the search box we can type CMD here and run this as administrator 
And now we need to put in a bunch of commands here and I'll put these in the video description for you. They're pretty lengthy. And uh, it's to change the BCD edit uh, command here. So we're gonna do a create one. So we'll just do this and push enter. And there's a bunch of other ones that you can do all in one go. So I'll leave all these in the video description. Just copy what I'm doing here and just copy and paste these. Okay, now these are freely available on the Microsoft website and also the VMware website, which I'll leave in the video description if you just wanna copy and paste them from there and it will give you more information on this. Now you should see it just stop here, just push enter and this will complete the process. Once that's done, we can now close off uh, the command prompt window and we can then reboot our system. You will need to reboot it otherwise it is not going to work. So just reboot and restart your system and uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully our problem has been resolved. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll quickly reboot our computer and come back. So let me close this off and reboot the system. And hopefully we will have our problem resolved. Now, if you do want to troubleshoot your own problems and you want to search Google, because Google is your friend and there's a lot of stuff on there that's very useful, but you need to know a little bit of knowledge and also a little bit of uh, savvy to know what you're looking at and what you're looking for to know whether this is going to resolve your problem okay now always make backups of your data and also make um you know risk system restore points and stuff like that just in case something goes wrong when you're doing any sort of fixes and be careful what you're reading and what you're watching on youtube because there's plenty of fake people out there that are just creating content just to make revenue and it's not going to help you and as you can see here the problem has now been resolved. You've seen it with your own eyes. That's how you fix and resolve problems and troubleshoot. And the problem is now fixed and we've got our uh, virtual machine booted up and working correctly how it should be. So anyway, that's gonna be about it for this video. Hope this one's been useful to you. These things can be very frustrating when you're trying to resolve a problem. And also the frustrating part is you one minute you're using it, you shut the PC down, boot it up the next day and it doesn't work. I don't know why it happened. But that's exactly what happened here and I had to try and fix it and I will thought I'll make a video just to show you how it works. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.